Hey everybody, it's Eric here with Spartan Auto Works. Today we're going to cover quickly um, how to reset transmission adapts on a 2007 and newer GM uh, vehicle that has a 6 speed, 6L80, 6L90 transmission. We've been getting a lot of calls lately about people I think are misdiagnosing or jumping the gun and wanting to throw TCMs in vehicles that may not need it. Um, real quickly, we see a couple different issues or about four different issues when it comes to uh, faulty shifting issues with 6L80s and 6L90s. Um, one can be the TCM itself could be internally bad. Um, not common, but we do see it. Second is, you'll usually get a code for this, but the there'll be a, sick, or a, a shift solenoid stuck on. Usually that's easily re rebuildable, repairable through a, a repair kit that's out there, uh, aftermarket that replaced the little plastic disc and seals on the TCM. Unfortunately, I don't have one uh, to show you as an example because I'm not at work today. Um, but very, very easy, you know, very cheap to, to fix. Um, the other couple things that we see are issues with the valve body. Uh, not super common, but we do see issues with the actual mechanical valve body. Even though the TCM is a valve body itself, it's attached to the mechanical valve body. Um, we do see issues with that. There is a zip kit um, for repairing the valve body or doing upgrades to the valve body. Highly recommended with any transmission rebuild or replacing the valve body itself. The zip kit would be a way cheaper option. I want to say the zip kit's like 150 bucks. If you're going to re replace your valve body, TCM valve body, I always recommend going and doing the zip kit upgrade as well because you're obviously taking the whole thing out. Uh, the other two common issues we see with shifting issues are um, there is a cracked drum in the 6L80, 6L90s. Uh, that drum can cause fluid to pass by it. Um, usually the cracks are hairline cracks. Uh, I do have an example of that. Hopefully I'll do a follow-up video here in the next couple weeks I can kind of show you that. Um, but the drums do crack. Um, so that's another issue. And then obviously the biggest issue that's probably plagues the 6L80, 6L90 is faulty torque converters. Uh, usually when the torque converter goes, it's, you know takes out the whole entire transmission. Now, before you conclude, unless you're getting actual codes that we can kind of diagnose from, if you're not getting any codes um, from the transmission control module itself to indicate some kind of failure or something that um, you know we can kind of point to as a faulty module, um, I recommend doing this first. Um, going to, so this is a 2007 GMC Yukon, so we're gonna build it out. And GMC Yukon Denali. Too. None of this stuff really matters. We just need to get to the service service parts. You can kind of lie to that. And while we're going through this, many scan tools will do this. Uh, obviously, the Tech 2 will, uh, the Altel will, the Snap One will. Um, many other brands out there will do this. You have to be able to have special functions or bi directional controls available in the scan tool that you're using um, in order to do this feature. Any good repair shop, mom and pop shop, I always try to. Uh, say shop local, um, try to find a, if you don't have access to a scan tool or don't want to buy one, um, always the small mom and pop shops, you know, their scan tools will definitely do it. Any good, any good shop will have a scan tool that does it. Um, doesn't require, you know, much time, so you should be able to give them 20, 30 bucks, whatever, and they should be able to reset this for you. Literally, it's pretty quick. Um, we're going to go to control unit, and we're going to go to transmission control module. You're going to go to active test. And reset transmission adaption. Now when you do this, it's going to tell you, or it should give you this a warning. It says clear taps function should only be performed after transmission internally repaired or replaced. And for the most part, I would agree with that. Um, but if you're having an issue that has no codes, I would go ahead and do that feature. And then it's going to cause the car to shift poorly for probably the first 50 miles or so uh, while it's going through and doing like basically a relearn procedure. So if nothing changes after let's say 50 to 100 miles after this procedure has been completed then I would say okay then we need to start looking at you know possibly a bad TCM if there's no other codes available or if the fluid doesn't look you know uh, bad or there's no metal shavings in the pan or anything like that then I would say okay then we may have a transmission control module issue these TCMs you know obviously are valve body based on the 6L80 6L90 so you do have to have some R and R labor to put them in. It's not exactly you know, plug it in. You got to take the pan off. You got to take the valve body off. 
So most people may not be doing this at home. They may be paying a shop to do it. So always for something like this, you want to make sure that the diagnosis is correct before you start spending, you know, big dollars on uh, replacing a valve body when it may not need to be replaced. So if you're having issues with no codes or erratic shifting, I would recommend doing this feature first. Um, if there's a clear sign that we can't, you know, diagnose it down to a hardware issue or a TCM issue, I would do this first. And then after that, you know, possibly a replacement of the TCM. But it's that simple. Uh, like I said, any good scan tool will do it. Uh, I prefer the Altel if anybody's looking for, I get questions every day of the week, what's a good scan tool? Any Altel is basically probably a great scan tool to use. Um, obviously the more money you spend, the more features you're going to get. But a lot of the basic, uh, you know, $300, $400 Altels uh, will get you what you need to do for uh, a lot of good diagnosis. Um, but reset transmission adapts, if you have no codes, there's you know, nothing that points in the direction of some kind of transmission internal failure. I would do that first, drive it for 50 to 100 miles, see where the transmission you know goes with that, and if it doesn't change, then we need to start looking at possibly TCM or some other hardware issue. Uh, if you have no codes, because for some reason lately we get a lot of people saying they're having erratic shifting with absolutely no codes or anything like that. Um, I had a couple people that called and you know had um, transmission service, no, no, uh, nothing in the pan uh, to indicate you know transmission failure or anything like that. Um, but I would do this first, um, just to kind of you know let the transmission relearn itself and then go from there. Uh, I will try to have a follow-up video um, here soon with different internal parts that we see that go bad inside the 6L80, 6L90. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea of uh, what's all involved with the 6L80, 6L90 problems. Um, but this is, you know, merely a video about, uh, you know, the TCM. So start here, and we'll have a follow-up on some other stuff here shortly. If you have any questions, please comment below.